The answer to chess, 15 and 5. Let's attack the pawn. Simple chess. Let's attack the pawn. If the pawn takes, take with the queen. See if the queen wants to exchange. Doesn't want to exchange, but lands on the bishop. So that's simple chess, taking a higher piece off the board with a lesser piece. Position. And it looks like they may have left the game. So that was pretty quick. But these, sometimes these games do happen and it's being able to take the opportunities. So we'll claim victory on that. Okay, 30-20. Nobody was accepting my 15-5, so I jumped in on theirs. The answer to chess. Let's see how we get on here. As we keep on, as I'll definitely keep on saying, it's not perfect. It's, the answer to chess just gives me motivation to try and find the better moves in any way, shape or form under the mantra that we've been using for these many years. Okay, so we can hit the centre pawn here just to get a bit of um, disturbance going. Let's get this out of the way if we can. So look like they're just pawn, pawn pushing. So a heavy thinker. Let's take this pawn. We want destruction in the center. We need the space. So it's a longer play game, 30 minute, 20 second increment. So we don't need to move speedy. Let's not let narration more take over. Try and get proper calculations going with the positions, checks, captures, threats, support, blocking, then back to position, that type of thinking. This pawn looks like it's a free pawn. And I'm not overestimating the opponent's skills. This pawn is supported by this knight. So if we do take, if the bishop comes and wants to take, just always worried about the queen coming here and behind there. Then there's the pawn, but then obviously this pawn can hit the knight. Ah, uh, yes, I see the magic. Mm. Do we take this pawn and go for further trapping? We do have a back it, a return channel. So I'm going to take the pawn because it's got no protection on it at the minute. And we're overworking the knight. I could be, it could be fool's gold. This pawn can be taken with the bishop supporting the knight and get castled. So I'm going to take the pawn supporting the knight, x ray through to the king, can expect the bishop to jump here. And then we're probably losing the knight. Well, maybe not, maybe not, because we can come here, can't we? So a very strange looking position, strange opening from the opponent. I'm not over underestimating it. But I'm not overestimating it either because it doesn't look like they're working their pieces together for any fancy tactics. But I could be shocked and surprised. The knights move. Da, 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 da. Knight could come here and attack their queen. That's been very busy, isn't it? But if he comes there and puts a check on our king, the knight can take. So I'm going to attack a higher piece with a lesser piece. You can see how nervous I am with this type of thing. The, there's what they can do and what they can't do. If they go here, the knight takes. This so knight's not coming anywhere because this pawn is kind of blocking. Could take this pawn, I suppose, as a bit of um, compensation. If they do that, we could take the queen off the board and also get the rook off the board as well because there'll be a bit of a fork. So 
so the queen does move which means the knight can move to defend and be also attacking the queen so i'm going to bring the knight around and it's supporting the bishop if the queen goes away well, i'm taking you off the board the x-ray is basically pinned to the king there's nothing that can actually jump in the middle apart from the queen taking the um, bishop then the knight takes the queen so in essence it looks like they have lost their higher piece it doesn't mean we've won the game just because we have as you see not all the games are like this but you've got to be able to take the advantages where you can i'm going to just take the queen off the board our knight is defended it's got a check on anyway and do we want to lose pieces for losing pieces sake no let's see what can we do queen can put a check on the king don't want it to fall into a hole put a check on the king it's not got many places to go i can go here or here or here We'll have to see which one they'll go to. It just doesn't look like a finish, but the knight can come here. Knight takes, knight comes in, queen takes. Don't think they'll go there. Oh, they have gone there. Well, that gives us the option of doing what we just said. Knight takes, queen takes. And then we almost doing a mate thing let's do that don't overthink it keep it simple you could just move the king doesn't have to take with the knight these kind of things are yeah it doesn't so we can get the rook off the board or is there anything else get the rook off the board with this knight in fact we might not even be interested in going for the rook got to look at the end game and finish the game where's it going not going there can't go here goes here and there's that looks like a mate to me it's got to be can't go here can it oh it's not all oh, the knight can come in front I should have done an arrow before I did that. I'm, I don't really like doing that type of thing when I give the opportunity and then bang, they've got an escape route. I should have done the calculation first. Right, okay, so the knight can take. Uh, there's no way of getting his king, is there, with anything else? Nope, knight can take. Looks like he's escaping to me. Pawn takes. Pawn does not take. Saves the rook. But the knight can go anywhere, can't it? Because we've got to check on the king. But it's just that it's not getting a big gun. Bishop's protecting. Nothing to take. Take this. I don't think he's going here. I think he'll come and attack the knight. Still escape him. We need to squish this. Squish this bug. Mm -mm -mm. Come back around. That's a mate position. But no. He's going to take and he's jammed us. Oh, come on. That's annoying. Oh. That is annoying. Oh, the comeback king. Right. No more. No more. We're not losing any more pieces now. Let's use the answer. We need to tr stop the king from escaping. Ah. Oh. Castle. Do we just go back to basics? Castle. 
tuck the knight. Get, get the pieces in. Get the pieces in the game. We can't squish the king just yet. Slightly annoying. I probably should have done bigger calculations. That's the thing, you know, as well. When you get to these sort of positions, you think, whoa, I'm actually winning. If I trap myself, take the bishop. You're actually winning. So you think you're squishing and squishing, but you're not. This was when that epiphany thing came in where I, I did the exercises where I'm thinking, why am I letting these people escape? They shouldn't be escaping. Could take this pawn here. It's looking to, what is he doing? It's rooks not going to take. Bishop round. Let's take the pawn. I know it's opposite our king, but there's nothing that can... His bishop's jammed in. Knight probably thinking of moving. Uh, okay, that's fine. We can take with the... Oh, we can take with the queen. What are we on about? Let's take with the queen. And then let's take this, maybe. Because he just keeps on escaping, so I'm not chasing the queen anymore. King, sorry. Let's just take and just get more pieces into the into the frame. Looks like they've given up now. Good stuff. But yeah, highlights the aspect of doing the blocking the escape route. It's a simple thing. Block the escape route. Let's attack. And that goes for any piece that you're chasing down, even like the queen and all that sort of stuff. And there's not much happening here. Excellent. 